Today I want to show you this beautiful paint color in the Benjamin Moore fan deck. So watch this. When I start scrolling through all the way down here to OC37, right there, that's called Glacier White. Now what do you think of this paint color all by itself? I'm sure a lot of you probably have different opinions. Maybe some of you think it looks like a cream, or maybe it looks like a warm off white, or maybe it looks like it's a gray. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you the undertones of Glacier White by comparing it with other paint colors and why it's so unique. And I'm gonna give you some valuable tips that you need to know about this paint color before deciding to paint this in your home. And for those of you that are new, feel free to subscribe. I give you a lot of valuable information when it comes to interior or exterior paint colors. All right, let's go. The first thing I want you to know is never make a decision based on what you see in a fan deck. It doesn't matter if it's Benjamin Moore, Barrel and Ball, or Sherwin Williams, and the list goes on. Because when you apply these paint colors on your wall, it's gonna look completely different. So please don't make this costly mistake. Instead, I encourage you to make a sample board. For example, today's color review is Glacier White. This is a beautiful sample board and you can do this too. Compare this with the fixed and furnished items that you may have in your home. So watch this. I'm gonna show you what makes this paint color so unique. When I compare this with Super White, by Benjamin Moore. By the way, this is considered a clean, crisp, bright white. You're gonna notice real quick that super white, when it's compared with Benjamin Moore Glacier White, that it looks like, almost like a light cream. Okay, but there's actually an undertone lurking right underneath Benjamin Moore Glacier White that I want you to know about. So watch this. When I compare this with Spanish White by Benjamin Moore, which is considered a cream, Watch what happens. You're gonna notice how Spanish white is warmer than Benjamin Moore Glacier White. Benjamin Moore Glacier White is cooler than Spanish white. And you're gonna notice that there's a little bit of a gray in here. It's a grayish interior paint color. Now, let's take this one step further. Let's compare Benjamin Moore Glacier White with Soft Chamois. Soft Chamois by Benjamin Moore is also a grayish. Watch what happens. You're gonna see how soft chamois is warmer than Benjamin Moore Glacier White, and Benjamin Moore Glacier White is lighter than soft chamois. That's super important. This is why I encourage you to always compare your sample boards with the other fixed and furnished items that you may have in your home. I encourage you to check out the link that's right down below. It's gonna take you to my website. Go to the search. I have over 80 different color review videos. Educate yourself. Or you can forget about all the different samples out there and get right to it. Feel free to check out any of my online packages. Read the reviews. See what people have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm going to give you some valuable tips that you need to know about Benjamin Moore Glacier White. Tip number one. Glacier White is considered a transitional paint color. What do I mean by that? It pairs really well with both cool and warm interior decor. That's good to know. Tip number two, it's a chameleon. So be mindful because this paint color will change colors throughout the day. And especially if you have a north facing room, it could look dingy. So this is why I always stress, make a sample board and pair this with both your fixed and furnished items that you may have in your home. I don't want you to make a costly mistake. Tip number three, it pairs really well with Chantelay Lace by Benjamin Moore. If you're looking for that clean, crisp trim color, it pairs fantastic with Benjamin Moore Glacier White. So what do you think of Benjamin Moore Glacier White? Or do you have a paint color that you would like me to do a future color review? Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your comments. Until then, I will see you in the next video.